Modern music of the 90s, now the new planet 106.7. Pink, don't let me get me. It's 8.15 at the Vitality Studios. Special guest, you guys were loitering out in the green room just seconds ago. Danny Reberg, good to see you. What green room? Well, it's we call it the green room, the lounge. It's the a area. closet. It's kind of a closet. You're exactly right. <laughs> Always a pleasure to be somewhere new, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to come yeah. in and talk to you. And the people that have enough respect for you to listen to you. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. A uh, quick rundown, uh, in case, just to catch me up on your basic, on your career, where you started out, and now what you're doing today, of course, uh, representing Montana in, in Washington. Yeah. Well, born and raised right here in Billings, Montana. Yeah. Uh, we had a ranch up on top, still do. I live up there, so nice. next to the airport. Yeah. And so we used to commute into town. Mom was a teacher down at Miles Avenue, and actually now my sister's the principal down there. Well, there you so go. So what goes around comes around. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but I uh, grew up here. Dad had a restaurant across from Eastern Montana College. Nice. called the Milky Way, yep. and uh, so I went to school at Boulder, Will James, West High, graduated yeah. in 73, and decided to uh, uh, pursue a, a career a little bit in music and a little bit in uh, political science, Nice. and so I went to Montana State, Washington State, ended up with the legislature, uh, ran for the legislature, yeah. ended up lieutenant governor, That's right. and got elected to Congress. So I've kind of uh, done a lot of things, been yeah. a lot of places, but most of it has been around the Billings area as far as sure. representing uh, a Billings district and always coming home here. That's right. Uh, how how does uh, your home, I, when you go to Washington, do uh, you have a home there? Do you have nope. an apartment or you just nope. stay in a hotel or whatever? I sleep on the couch. Yeah, do you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I originally moved the family back there yeah. and they all really wanted to be back in, in, in Billings. Yeah, and that. so uh, they moved back here. So about seven years ago, I just took a bed roll out and said, hey, I'll give this a try. And I threw it out on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty comfortable. <laughs> and it's real convenient because I have my computer right there. Yeah. I have my, all my files. I uh, have a telephone, you nice. know, and, yeah. and the desk. and. So I mean, it's all work when I go back to Washington. Uh, sure. Jan and the kids don't travel back and forth yeah. uh, much. much, and yeah. so uh, I'll get up at six in the morning to down and work out. Uh, we've got a shower and, and, a, nice. and, a, and a, a facility down yeah. in the complex, and then get dressed, work all day, kind of flop into bed at ten yeah. or eleven at night, and start <laughs> the next go. day. And then every weekend I come back to Montana yeah, and travel nice. Montana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how are things up on the ranch, up on top of the hill? You well, got, uh, you got cows in it? Yeah, we yeah. did. Uh, a number of years ago, I switched yeah. over to the cashmere goat business oh, and nice. uh, got into goats and yeah. ended up uh, with quite a few of those. But uh, essentially, the ranch and its fifth generation in our family has had everything from cows to horses. We had a yeah. dairy. Uh, if you're familiar with Reburg Lane, that's where the Midland Jersey sure. dairy was. That was my great grandfather, my grandfather, and my dad all had a dairy. Nice. And uh, uh, so the ranch uh, is all cattle now and a little yep. bit of wheat. There you go. And the cashmere goats. Uh, the goats are gone. <laughs> the goats I, are finally, gone. <laughs> I finally sold them all the, uh, the last week of December this last year. Nice. And so I'm out of the goat business. There you go. Let's talk about the uh, business of the economy. Man, uh, it's been kind of a whirlwind, kind of tough to follow. Things happening really fast and everyone wants a solution quickly. Um, did it, Has it passed now? I mean, I haven't seen yes. an update as of today. So. Yeah, I assume the president will be probably signing it tomorrow. But yeah. uh, uh, it was, uh, and I always put quotes around so-called economic stimulus. So there's two ways right. of stimulating yeah. the economy. Uh, one is the the way that we suggested, and that is get money back in the hands of people immediately sure. who actually uh, create the jobs. Uh, yeah. And so it, w it was uh, heavier on tax relief, especially yeah. for small business uh, like this radio station. Sure. Uh, and the other was the path of using the economic crisis as the way of increasing social spending, and that's what they did. Yeah, there's so, a lot of stuff in there. I mean, there's, how much of it are we going to see? How much is expected to trickle into Montana? I guess, well, you know, I mean, uh, they, and how soon is it going to trickle in? They're <laughs> using a figure of a little more than six hundred uh, six hundred million dollars. Yeah. Now, I, you know, I'm not suggesting that there aren't the social needs. Sure. There, there isn't recession because there is. Yeah. It's very serious, and we need to help people. Yeah. But if you're going to jolt the economy with a, a jobs program that really make it a jobs program, sure. and, and this was not. Now, there is some infrastructure uh, money in it. Uh, we yeah. figured it out statistically about 7% of the entire bill is going to go back into infrastructure. And so if you're pitching it as a jobs and an infrastructure <laughs> yeah. bill, and only 7% of the money goes, now where's the rest of it going? Right. That's and just it. Yeah. Again, they used it as a, as a way of increasing spending, and, and I'm sorry to say, you're going to pay the price, because you're yeah. working, every working yeah. person in this nation will ultimately pay a higher price. Well, just, the money that. comes from somewhere. It, it's not just magic. It's, it's not, not a magic, magic solution. No, and, and that's what <laughs> I was, There we go, magic. And I now find ironic that you know schools say, well, we can't really raise the taxes on our local school district, so let's look to the federal government because it's right. Eddie Warbucks. Yeah. The money still comes from the federal taxpayer, which sure. is still the same people that are paying the uh, tax at the local level. Yeah. 
Tax, tax, tax. There is no Sooner free lunch. lunch. Nope, that's for sure. Uh, well, we'll be curious to see what happens. Can I expect a refund check again? Is this one of those scams where am I, I going to get $600 and go jumpstart the economy with it? Or well, is that part of the deal? Do I need to check my mail? Or, on uh, average, you <laughs> ought to see a $13 reduction in your pay, and that, that, that'll help. That'll so, be great, yeah. yeah. I like uh, that. It, Again, you know, it's, it's just one of those situations yeah. where we had the opportunity. You know, when people find out we're going to spend $8 billion to build yeah. a high rail, um, high speed rail from Las Vegas to Los Angeles with the money, right. uh, that was nothing more it's than not help rail me. spending. No, <laughs> yeah. but it's certainly going to help uh, gaming in Nevada yeah, sure. and those in Los Angeles that want to go. But yeah. once again, it was a pork barrel, pork laden bill. No. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> now, what, is there any other options now? Is there any chance of it being changed? I mean, what's signed to sign? Right? Uh, no, it's done. Okay. Now, that what they're doing is they're following it up with more spending. I hear now the president yeah. wants to come in with a housing package of $50 billion. Uh, yeah. We haven't even finished last year's work, so fiscal year 09 isn't yeah. done. That'll be $400 billion. And then we begin fiscal year 10, which uh, will probably be about $500 billion. Yeah. And then wow. you've got a supplemental bill, which means they didn't come up with enough money in the year before's budget. Yeah. So they're going to have to supplant that with another $100 billion. Wow. And, the, and the difficulty is yeah. we, the, the Congress has doubled the debt over a matter of days. And so it uh, went from a trillion <laughs> to about $2.2 trillion. And yeah. again, uh, interest rates will probably go up. We'll see inflation. Yeah. And we've got to do everything that we can to try and control the level of spending. That's how we get back out of this is control yeah. spending. Not by spending more. Right. If you're, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can we Andy, just thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate it. And uh, have a great day. And uh, thanks for doing the things you do in Washington for us. My appreciate pleasure. It. Three doors down, it's not my time. It's modern music in the 90s and now. Can we just go ahead and kick in yeah, right now for the kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike.